Well, Hearts are already down, of course, but they could still have a massive say in who finishes second bottom this season. The pressure off to an extent for the visit of Ross County. The major good news for Hearts during this week was a deal involving Yukio Bankis, which should see the club exit administration very soon, avoiding the threat of liquidation, of course. As for Ross County, well, they went into this match with a Premiership future in plenty of doubt. Derek Adams side desperately in need of points at Tyne Castle to escape the playoff spot. This would be a hugely controversial match. There for us was Brian McLaughlin. The biggest crowd of the day inside Tyne Castle, almost 14,000. And Ryan Stevenson came close to giving the home fans something to cheer about early on. It was a first half of very few chances. Philip Keish had the best effort for County, no way though beyond McDonald. Into the second half and a booking for Jamie Hamill after this barge into the back of Michael Tidzer. A yellow card that was to prove crucial later. Then Hearts close to an opener. Teenagers King and Nicholson combined. A fantastic challenge though by Songu denied Hearts the opener. Then the turning point after 65 minutes. Kevin McHattie bundled down inside the box by Graham Carey. A penalty kick, says referee Wally Collum. Soft it may have been, but Jamie Hamill made no mistake from the spot to put Hearts one up. Much to the delight of the home fans, Hamill refusing to hand the ball back to Jan Songu. A push from the county defender and then a barge into the county boss, Derek Adams. Both Songu and Hamill were booked for their part, and leading to a red card for the Hearts captain. But the ten men kept pushing forward, and Scott Robinson had a great chance to make it too, but Mark Brown saved with his feet. County pushed more men forward and almost grabbed an equaliser. Jordan Slew's header, though, wide of the mark. Then with four minutes of stoppage time on the clock, Hearts broke clear. Robinson down the left, his pass to Dale Carrick, who fired the ball high into the roof of the net, his fifth goal of the season. It's now three wins in the last four for Hearts, as County drop into the relegation playoff spot. Another good performance. Um, you know, I felt uh, they made things difficult for us, you know, they got behind the ball and uh, you know, we had to move the ball quickly and try and play through them, but you know, I thought we thoroughly deserved the three points. The game was there for both sides to win and uh, Hearts got that impetus by getting the penalty kick and scoring. We had chances, we didn't take the chances, but um, you know, we have to show a wee bit more hunger than we did today. It's been a good week for everyone connected with the football club and uh, you know, as I say, it was important we topped it off with a win at the end of the week. Well, only one place we can possibly start after that game. The Jamie Hamill barge on Derek Adams and Pat, it all started with this controversial penalty incident. What on earth did you make of it? Well, I don't think that controversial a penalty. I think the referee gets it right. It seems a mild one from there. But again, we get the other angle. And the referee's in exactly the right position there. It's clumsy, takes him out, and there's no argument. Uh, this is the last good thing we're going to say about Jamie Hamill. It's a great <laughs> penalty. Superb. <laughs> right, now... You can get a yellow card for doing that, running away with the ball, you're not allowed to do that. So you've had your warnings, you managed to get away with it, so see what you can tell me next. Um, he starts winding up the other players with okay. it and then throws the ball away. That's another yellow. Maybe he calms down now. Or maybe <laughs> oh not. God. I, I'm it's, absolutely it's, and utterly stunned by it. Derek doesn't react, which is amazing. You've got to give him a lot of credit for not reacting because, you know, yeah. it, it's completely disrespectful from, from Hamill uh, and a moment of madness, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be regretting that. Well, it's utterly you. outrageous, isn't it? I it's mean, incredible scenes, and you got a yellow card there. And for what we, what we understand at the moment, that might be his only punishment that he gets from this. We understand the SFA might not be able to actually yeah, throw the book at him. Yeah, yeah, because he's actually dealt with it yeah. at the time, the referee, so I understand it, but... Again, well done, Dick. But that's just madness. I mean, we got Jim Goodwin off with it earlier. We can't get Jamie Hamill off with that <laughs> no, one. I don't think there's any um, getting off. It's an outrageous thing. Not really you don't see that often. Like I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It's, uh, but let's not forget the fact that fantastic result for Hearts. Brilliant crowd as well there again. Yeah. So that's brilliant. For it me. is absolutely fantastic. The, the fact as well this week as well, Stephen, the fact that Hearts look like they will be exiting administration. Great times for yeah. the club in that respect. Obviously, they will be in the championship next season. But... This was a major result this week for Hearts, the very fact that they can continue as a going concern. That's the most important thing, you know, that the club's still there and, uh, you know, you've got to 
give plaudits to the supporters of Hearts this year. 14,000 has been their average gate, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and they've supported them knowing that they're getting relegated. And the support they've given has been phenomenal. I suppose the icing on the cake as well, potentially for Hearts next weekend, Pat, is that it is the Edinburgh Derby. And of course, we all heard about Black Sabbath a few weeks ago. Well, Hearts can actually drag Hibs further into the, into the playoff, Maya. You get the feeling they quite enjoy that <laughs> as well. Um, no, they're on a, a real run just now, a real feeling. And if you look at the way Hibs fans are and Hibs players are, they're a real downer at the moment. And, you know, Hearts, a strange life that we live in just now, they're actually going down, but they seem quite up at the moment, yeah. understandably so. It's just this feeling that next year we all know that that division below might Tough. be a, an unbelievable decision, division, and whatever team goes down from the SPFL, it will be a stunning division. But not the last we've heard of the Jamie Hamill incident, is this? It's hard to say, but that's an extraordinary situation. There. And actually, I hate to say it, quite funny as well. <laughs> <laughs> OK.